Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today we're going to be taking a look at a subject that I find most certainly interesting. And I'm sure you will enjoy. But if you read the title, I'm sure you know what's going to happen. Big man himself, Jim Ryan, has been lying. Since we're pretty much reacting to tweets, uh, this video won't be that long. So, sorry about that. I got another video coming tomorrow anyway, so enjoy that. Let's get started on how I found this. Well, I didn't really find it. It was my friend. I introduced him to the fanboys and how they react. So he decided to go down the rabbit hole and he found this masterpiece. I just want to give credit before we go any further to this man. So let's take a read, shall we? Update Microsoft Activision Blizzard. Jim Ryan tells the CMA in its response to the PF or plaintiff, I don't know which fucking one, addendum that if Microsoft creates a version of COD for PlayStation that is significantly worse than the Xbox version, PlayStation as a business would never recover. I'm sure you know what this means. We're off to a good start, but as I'm sure you all know, PlayStation has been giving Xbox and the PC version a lesser version, while PlayStation gets content first, maps exclusivities, stuff like that that is small but not an outright exclusivity deal to the platform. For those who aren't catching what I'm saying, as I'm very sure there are some out there that are mentally disabled just like me, PlayStation has been getting a significant better version of Call of Duty. Oh! Whoa, 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 boys, get back here. We're not done reading. Thank you for coming back. Honestly, I don't know why that removed the audio from the clip. I thought it would have been a bit more funny. Well, just put a bunch of editing into that for no reason. Okay, let's continue reading. Any degradation in the price, performance, or quality of play on PlayStation, or any delays on release, would quickly harm SIE's reputation and cause a loss of engagement for players. As CIE's CEO Jim Ryan explained to the CMA at the Remedies hearing, if PlayStation is to receive a downgraded version of Call of Duty, it would seriously damage our reputation. Our players would desert our platform in droves, and the network effects would exacerbate the problems. Our business would never recover. That took way too many times to read, so that's I'm going to leave it there. But as you can see, PlayStation, as well as Jim Ryan, seem to be uh, either not self-aware or they're doing a terrible job at uh, trying to make everyone believe that they are definitely going to suffer from this. Because PlayStation, as we all know, has been giving us a lesser version of Call of Duty through exclusivity deals. But I also do agree with Jim Ryan that if Call of Duty is to get prioritization over one platform, for example Xbox and PC, it will most certainly hurt PlayStation's bottom line. Call of Duty makes more money than any exclusive and has a higher percentage of players than any exclusive. As much as fanboys would like to disagree, yes, I definitely do believe Xbox will be at an advantage and will probably have more players when it comes to the next generation, as Call of Duty itself is known to be able to sell consoles. Honestly, I wouldn't have agreed, but from what I've seen and from what I've researched, it more than likely will. But at the same time, since the industry has moved away from excluding people from playing games, and has become more open-ended to uh, people buying games, I doubt that will be much of a big difference, as even in the future, PlayStation should more than likely still be able to play it. So with that being said, let's go make fun of my favorite community, the PlayStation fanboys, as they somehow still think this is a W. I mean, they're most certainly as bad as people I've covered in the past, these are pretty fucking timid. So let's read the first one. He's right, Sony knows what quality is. And as you can see, I left a couple other things in there just to uh, give you an idea. I think we're all in agreement, not really right now. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell if people are actually taking the piss purely because Sony fanboys in general are just uh, really fucking insane. So I guess we can take benefit of the doubt these people are uh, most certainly maybe or maybe not taking the piss. Honestly, this one though, this one uh, definitely a fanboy, 100%. Not like he's definitely taking the piss or anything. I, I genuinely hope he's taking the piss. I, re I really do. <laughs> There's no way someone can be like this. I mean, you would hope they wouldn't be like this, but like I said, it's pretty hard to tell if someone's like uh, being genuine or taking the piss. Especially when it comes to Twitter where everyone has the uh, comparable brain limit to uh, three brain cells and uh, a speck of dust. This one though, this one takes the cake. No lies told by Jim. The CMA should stop this deal. Microsoft out here trying to damage other companies with their endless deep pockets, buying up the whole industry left and right, while also having competing consoles they want all, and they want to buy all. 
See, I don't know how Microsoft would be able to damage other companies. Microsoft has always had a pretty out there stance on how companies should be run, especially when it comes to Phil Spencer and his management of those companies. And uh, yes, it has led to a lot of problems, for example, discrimination and sexual harassment in the companies, if that is what you're trying to mean. But using money does not damage anything in the industry. How does it damage? You're not giving us enough to work with. See, right there, I gave you an example. Because of Microsoft's open-ended management of these and allowing the companies to do what they want, that is damaging what the companies can do. Because there is no management telling them, hey, you need to have a complete game by this deadline. You can do whatever you want as long as you get it out by that time. And then you compare this to Sony where they are very hands-on, meaning that there is very little time to fuck around. You have to get that game working and complete by that time period. Yes, there have been delays, of course, to uh, finish the product, but mainly when it comes to Sony, they have a much better way of handling these games and actually release feature complete games most of the time. Uh, just don't look at the one that just came to PC. So we'll end off this video with a shit post. Um, I just want to say I don't really like reacting to tweets as it's kind of just boring. I would like to react to actual videos. So, you know, if this video comes off as a bit weaker than anything else I've done, um, you know, that's why. So you boys take care. I'll leave you all to it and uh, leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, and I'll like suck your toes if you join my Discord, please. I need more people that are actually active.